Hello everyone, welcome to Center Stack. Today I'm going to give you an overview of the basic installation and configuration of Center Stack software. I'm using a brand new virtual machine which is Windows Server 2012. I'm going to go ahead and launch my Internet Explorer. I'm going to enter the website address which is www.centerstack.com forward slash p forward slash download underscore gce.htm and I'm going to select enter and from our download page I'm going to select center stack web installer package and when the windows pops up we're going to scroll down and open it here I'm going to save it to my downloads folder and when it's completed I'm going to select open folder I'm going to right click and run as an administrator and it says the wizard will guide you through the installation so I'm going to go ahead and click next this is a license agreement page I agree and next it says select edition we have the enterprise edition and the service provider edition I'm going to choose the service provider edition and continue by selecting next it says choose installation type. I'm going to keep the default setting which is express all-in-one installation and I'm going to go ahead and select next. I'm going to click on install to begin the installation and once our installation is complete it will ask us to reboot the machine so I'm going to go ahead and reboot now and select yes and once the machine is rebooted it would ask us to create our default admin account I'm going to go ahead and create my account I'm going to use admin at centerstack.com I'm going to create a password re-enter the password check the terms of services box and select continue we're in the cluster managers dashboard and I'm going to go ahead and select the toggle navigation button from the left here and the first option we have is the dashboard it gives a quick overview of your cluster then the second tab we have is the tenants manager where you can create and manage tenants the next tab we have is the cluster admin which gives the default administrators information we have the cluster branding is where you can configure your branding you can brand the general section the web portal the client download section windows client section the mac client section you can brand the ios client you could brand the android client the email we have the email services you can configure your own SMTP email service. We have the cluster server farm, which shows you how many nodes you have in your cluster. Under cluster info, you have the active users. You could see guest users, server agents, and node performances. Under reports tab, you have the upload report option, which shows you the upload reports. It shows you the storage statistics. And then we have the cluster setting tab. When you click on client version manager, you'll see the Windows client version number and the server agent version. Click on the application manager, you see the available applications. We have the settings tab. We have additional settings the cluster admin can configure. We have the antivirus tab. You can integrate your own antivirus. Then we have the languages tab. You could set the software to a different language and we have a quite a few options here you could set the language to. I'm going to go ahead and take you into the management console. We're going to select manage my default tenant. And in the management console on the dashboard, the first option we have is the collaboration. When you click on that to expand, we have the team folders. We have the option to see the share objects. We have the storage manager option here where you could attach cloud storage or attach local storage. We have the user manager where you can create more users and import AD users as well and you will manage your users from here. You can manage any guest users from guest user manager. We also have group manager where you could manage and create groups. We also have the role manager where you could create more roles. 
we have the group policy where the tenant admin can configure group policies for the entire tenant. And we have all these different options here. Under reports, you have the upload report option where you will see the file uploads. We have the storage statistics, which give you an overall statistics, the published team folders. We have the audit trace, file change logging. We have the advanced tab where you will configure active directory settings here. And we have the client device manager tab here. We have the tenant administrators tab where you will see the default administrators information and where you could delegate more administrators. And we have the notification tab which will give you notifications for shared folders, team folders and additional settings the tenant can configure. I'm going to go ahead and select my files tab from the top menu option here. This takes us to the user's web portal and this is the web portal view.